Do we truly see the universe when we open our eyes? Do we see the vast potential that's inside of us? First came fire, then came steel. And it wasn't long before we started asking some big questions. Who am I? Why am I here? Some of the greatest minds in our history, Pythagoras, Socrates, Plato, Rumi, Leonardo da Vinci, Michael Faraday, Max Planck, Nikola Tesla, and Albert Einstein all start to explore the big questions of life and our universe. Their collective work points to something very important, that we might be far more interconnected than anyone had ever thought. Their ideas were way ahead of their time, so they left hidden messages for others to find later, because in their day they could only share their knowledge with a few people. We live in an age where we can communicate to every point on the globe. We are all connected. But it's more than just a feeling. It's also a mathematical equation. But the idea that we are all connected sounds like a platitude to many of us. We're more disconnected than ever in certain ways. War. Violence. Greed. Tragedies. These are the stories that fill the news channels and this is a very disconnected view of the world. Us against them. You against me. Danger and disaster lurking around every corner. But are we complicit in it? because this is what so many people seem compelled to watch. Drawn to the worst aspects of humanity. And then there's the ever-increasing pace. Why do we race through life so quickly, taking in disconnected message fragments with no voice, heart, or context? When we consume bite-sized pieces of information, it's very hard to imagine the big picture. Why does our world seem so frantic? Why do we spend so much of our time chasing money, career, intimacy and possessions? With schedules so full, when all we really want is simply to be together. For all of our progress, we've lost connection to the one thing that really matters. We remain disconnected while pretending to be connected. And being connected at a distance makes it easier for some people to say hurtful things. We have trouble staying connected to the ones we love, let alone the rest of humanity. There is fear and there is beauty. Which world do we want? How we connect with the world changes our experience of the world. There is hidden mathematics that underlies all of creation. Nassim Haramein believes the world is profoundly connected. Our universe is filled with mystery. Our planets, stars and galaxies account for only 4.9% of the matter of the universe. So what makes up the rest of the universe? Is it dark matter? Is it dark energy? 
There is a large amount of unexplained energy in our universe. In 1992, the NASA Cosmic Background Explorer detected fluctuations in the background energy of the universe. To explore this mystery, we need to remember the words of Nikola Tesla. If you want to understand the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. There is a flow of the energy of the universe around you, and a flow of the energy of the universe inside of you. When people realize that everything is connected, the sense of separation, the sense that we're isolated, hopefully that goes away and it's replaced with this feeling that we're part of this incredible creation in which everything is interdependent on everything else and that everything is connected through this energy that's in the space and then actually it's the space that creates matter and reality and them they're part of the whole thing and so that they can see the incredible potential that they have the incredible miracle that it is that they're alive and that they're able to experience this interconnectivity with everything it's a feeling of resonance and a feeling of connection with everything in the natural world and maybe, just maybe, as a result of understanding this at a deeper level, they will start to understand themselves at a deeper level. And understand the functioning of the universe at a deeper level. And that it will give hope to people.